Let's talk. Wacom tablet. In a previous video, we unboxed together the one by Wacom drawing tablet and we also discovered quickly how we could use the, this tablet on any computer. In today's video, we are going to go more deeply on setting it up, meaning more how to set up this beauty over here which is the pen that goes with the tablet and I also wanted to show you how I used this one by Wacom tablet daily on different softwares. So now let's get right into how to set up the Wacom pen. So I don't know if you know this already, but if you never had a Wacom tablet and you just got it and you're watching this video, know that you will have to open the Wacom desktop center to be able to touch at the pen settings. So here I am inside the Wacom desktop center. If you're wondering how you got these, this driver and this um, where you can get the Wacom desktop center uh, when you purchase your Wacom tablet, it will come with a little guide that tells you where to download those software. So don't even worry about it. Anyways, here we are in the desktop center and you will be directed to my devices. So you have a one by Wacom. Now you only have to click on it and then you will see a lot of different things, software, settings, documentation, and we want to focus on pen settings. So this is what we're going to do. So you're going to click on the pen settings. It's going to pop up a new window. And so now we are going to get right into what settings you can change. I'm going to start with the one on the side over here, the tip fill and the tip double click distance. A disclosure, uh, there's a lot of those uh, settings that I do not use and I do not touch. Tip double click distance is one of them. So we are going to talk about tip fill. This is how the tip of your pencil here is going to fill on your tablet when you're drawing. If I go into customize here, you can either take this and drag it to really soft, so it's really soft when you go into the tablet, or you can have it firm, so you have to really put pressure on the pen for it to actually draw something or use it. So when you do soft, you can just barely click on the tablet and you have like a really uh, strong pressure. And when you do firm, you really have to click on the tablet or like go really strong with the tip of the pen to bring that uh, pressure high. So uh, I left it on the middle as you saw, but you can also customize it. So if we go into customize here, you have your output and your pen pressure. And this is where we are as of right now. Here you have the click and here you have the max pressure. So um, that is the max pressure. This is uh, how uh, far your pencil can get as pressure wise talking, but you can you can be like, no, I want the max pressure to be around here. And I want my sensitivity to be like over there or like even go over here. And so now let's try. So here I barely touch on my tablet and I don't have that really small tip at the end. But if I go really hard on it, this is the max I can go as of uh, how strong my pencil get. If I change this, okay, I want to go back here. Let's see what it does. See, now it's a little bit less. Uh, my stroke is a little bit less big and I can have this sensitivity of starting with small and go a little bit deeper. So this is great for like calligraphing, um, do some calligraphy or whatever. But we can also change this, go over here and see what it does. It's a little better. So anyways, you can change settings like this, see what is the best for you. This is how I like mine, so I can easily go soft and round, soft and round. If you messed up too much with the setting and you're like, oh no, I really don't want it to do that. I want to go back to the default. Then you just click default here and it will bring you back to where you were. Now you can see that you uh, tip fill is in the middle, but yet you customize how you want to um, tip to fill when you go slightly on the tablet or when you actually go strong on it. All right, our next 
settings that we're going to look at is a mapping this is this one over here so when you click on mapping it's basically telling you what part of your screen my screen is a 4k 30 four inches yeah 34 inches so it's like pretty big and wide so uh, my tablet is really really small so um you can make sure that your tablet is either a landscape portrait or landscape flip or whatever you have different options here you can either put it in pen or in mouse mode or let's get it in my pen and you can choose what monitor you want uh, to get either some um so mine is on monitor one this i have only one monitor plugin so you can also have only a portion of your screen so you'll be like okay no i just want my wacom tablet to taking care of this area and so this is what you will do so anywhere see i'm trying to go above um those areas that i selected and i cannot go there my pen won't go further that those two lines here i'm the, I'm the max here i'm at the max because see here i moved it so you i can go now let me do, uh, let me put that line right on the bottom and I'm gonna try to go with my pen and I can. If I go up, I'm uh, blocked over here, I cannot go further. So now I have all my screen, all my welcome tablet and my pen can go anywhere they want. So this is how I like it. Uh, let's go back to our pen settings. And now we're going to take care of those two clicks. You have a click that goes up and a click that goes down. Here is your tip, here is the top of the pen. And you have those two clicks. So, all right, let's see what they can do. To give you an example here on one I've done for mine. Here is telling you that if you bring the tip of your pen and you click on your tablet, this is a click, okay? So if I want to open Photoshop, for example, with my pen, I will just have to click on it. That's my left click on the mouse. So anytime I'm, I want to open something, I just click and is opening the um, software. Now, you don't have to uh, add a click to your two buttons here because you already have a click in your tip. So the highest button, this one here, is my right click so so if i want to do something on here and i need to right click to you know add a new folder or whatever i don't even click on my um desktop i just my pen is is not even touching the drawing tablet right now i just do right click and here i have all my option to do right click so i can add a new folder by clicking by tapping the tablet that is my right click and now for the second button for this button right here so underneath the first one, I did an option. So let me explain to you why I did this. You have a multiple option and I'm going to show you in a second. But basically when I'm on um, Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, which is the software I used the most as a brand designer, when I am on Adobe Illustrator, for example, I am using the option key on my keyboard quite often. And sometimes I don't want to have my keyboard on the middle of what I'm doing, so I need to have the option key on my pencil. And here, uh, when you hold option, you can duplicate. So it's easy for me to duplicate something using only the pen. So this is why I decided to add the option. But you can add whatever you want. And so let's get into the options and how I added this option button. So we are back into our settings and here is what we have to customize this button. So here you go into the select option, click on it, and you will get different options. You have the clicks, so click, again, you don't need it because you tip does it for you. Right click, middle click, double click, it's basically what you get on, on your mouse that you use all the time, so you can use those. You have keyboard, this is what I use, so you can either do keystroke and you um, said, oh, okay, I want comment, shift, control, or whatever, or you can do add special and you can have different options or you can write down what you want. For me, I did keyboard, modify, and here are your keys. So shift, control, uh, option, comment, space, left, middle, right, mouse wheel. 
So this is pretty awesome. You have a lot of different things. So here for my keys, I chose the option one that is on my keyboard and click OK. And this is what I use. But you also have uh, different stuff. Uh, erase, pressure holding, navigation. If you want to zoom in, zoom out. This is a really, really, really cool um, launch pad. So if you need your launch pad here, uh, you can use this. Show desktop. You have a little, um, a lot of different things that you could use that are really cool. I kind of like the zoom in and zoom out. That must be like a really great idea. Or you can use the pencil to open any application so for example if every day you are using adobe illustrator uh, you can be like okay i want to open and you tap the name of the app or you can browse the app and every time you will click on that button it will open the app i think this is pretty handy as well or you can disable it totally and not using at all so yeah this is all of those options now, if you're going to options here, you have a little bit more things that you can do. Here it says hover click. So see, when I was on my desktop and I right click on it without even having my pen touching the tablet, I was able to click. Well, because I have the hover click button mode on, but otherwise, I can change that and do click and tap, and then I will have to click all the click on my tablet and then right click to open it. I really like the other one. I think it's really cool. I don't. I really don't want to have to, you know, all the time touching my tablet to do things. So that is pretty awesome. So yeah, that was pen settings. Now, how do I use the pen and the tablet daily um, as a brand designer? So as a brand designer, Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator are my two softwares that I just use over and over and over again. In Zoo's uh, software, you have brush tool, the pen tool, pencil tool, eraser healing and all of that so I am using most of my pen to draw uh, or paint or erase things out of an image using tool or the dodge tool um so to give you an example I'm going to click on the brush tool here this is so easy to do things uh, with the pencil look at this this is really responsive, like I don't get any issues drawing with it. If I press really hard on the tablet, this is how hard my stroke can be, or oh, like super light. Uh, anyways, I have my uh, option on, so if I click on option, I can have the eyedropper tool. Anyways, now I can do right click and I can uh, change the size, the hardness, change my brush. And here I am, right click again. I don't want this, I want that. And here we are. This is my most used uh, on Photoshop, but also use the healing brush or the eraser tool. Now let's go into Adobe Illustrator. And I showed you how I used the option on using my pen, but I uh, also so using the pencil quite a lot. Draw whatever I want using the pen. This is really handy. Also using the brush tool like on Photoshop. I also use a lot of the pen tool. That's the pen curve tool. Really, really, really like that. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching today's video and I really hope that you learned something new today on how to set up your pen for the Wacom tablet. Obviously every tablet is different and probably some settings are also different but for the one by Wacom that was how far I could guide you. Thank you so so much you guys for watching today's video. Let me know in the comment down below what settings you learned today. Alright, thank you so so much for watching. I will see you next Sunday and yeah. Take care.